How's it going, everybody? Hope y'all doing well. So recently, I've been tagged in a video to explain or give five tips on new campers or new people pushing out into environments specifically like these. Jeep's over there, we're about to leave it behind. Rural, out in the middle of nowhere type of places. To give you five tips for new beginners starting into this kind of lifestyle or this hobby. So that's what we're gonna go over. So it's a little bit kind of crazy deep snow here actually. So I might be a little bit winded, but I kind of got to get up this slope first. All right, so I made it up and now I'm over the hill where I just came from. So we'll talk about it. Number one, so what's my number one tip or first one, let's just say they're not really in any order. But first one is we test your gear, honestly. Before you go out into an environment like this that can possibly harm you if you don't really know what you're doing, that's why the initial beginner, test your gear. Go in your backyard, honestly, test it out. That's what I do. There's a lot of gear that I'll just lay out and test before it even gets here. I have a ton of gear, this is my get home bag, already ready to go and I know it's vetted because I've used it before. So I have no issues coming up here and staying the night with a small pack like this. And it's, oh, probably about 20 degrees, pushing probably five at night. Anyways, that's besides the point. So test your gear out before you go. Just a simple test, just make sure they work. Next, taking a look at my notes. Find a good location, that's the next thing. Now, good location doesn't mean ridiculously far out in the middle of nowhere like I am now. Good location when starting out could just be like a local park or a local campsite or maybe somewhere just kind of off the beaten path or even it could be in your backyard. It doesn't have to be kind of crazy, but when you start pushing out further and further, layer your approach in case things can go wrong so you get more confident with yourself and whatnot. Next, check the weather. So how long are you gonna go out? And look for the weather not to be so poor when you're gonna go out and try to have some fun on your first time or getting into it. Older folks that have done it a while will look for opportunities and environments like this snow, for instance, to go out in to test themselves further. First time, don't do that slowly progress to that. Look for the weather, make sure it's nice out, and enjoy your time and focus on other gear items rather than worrying about pouring rain or crazy snow or, you know, wind or what other environment things could possibly harm you. Next, pace method. So pace is having backups um, plans to whatever you're doing primary, alternate, contingency, and emergency. Have backup plans, like if my fire starter, the lighter, fails, what's my backup plan? Kind of test, in the testing phase, have different types of creating fire. Other stuff like that, cordage, shelter, stuff like that. Don't have just one item and that's it, because that's a bad way to go, in my opinion. Granted, this is all opinion-based, so you can kind of roll with it but have backup plans. So that was number four, if I recall, and we're going on to five, which this one's a little bit more different. It's a GOTWA report or whatnot, which I'll explain here in a second. It's normally military, military terminology, GOTWA, G-O-T-W-A, G. Where am I going? Tell someone where you're going to, have a plan so they know where you're at. O, others going with you. So who are you taking? Is it just you alone? Or are you taking, you know, a wife, a sibling, you know, a husband? Who are you going with? Next, time. Time to expect me back. That's what I'm going to tell them. Like, hey, Saturday, probably afternoon, I'll be back. But, you know, the latest is going to be Sunday morning. If you don't hear me by Sunday morning, this is what to do. Which time? We're going into W now. So that was T. W, what to do if I don't check in at that time? What is that person supposed to do? Are they supposed to go out and look for you? Are they supposed to get worried? Are they making phone calls? What is it? That's W, instruct, instruct them what to do if that time passes. And then finally A, 
which is kind of what W is, but actions to take, specific actions. Call, you know, local sheriff's department. Call, you know, fire, rescue, um, local authorities. Tell them, hey, last time, if you don't hear me by this, you need to contact someone because I'm in trouble. Got while report. I recommend having that. Geez, snow's getting deep. Having that and utilizing it. And kind of number six is just a bonus. I guess it can't even be numbered. So when you're sleeping in your tent, or not in the tent, but when you're in your sleeping bag, don't put your head in the sleeping bag when it's cold out like this. Condensation will build up and you will get extremely cold and you might freeze to death. So wear a beanie and have a little hole. That's my little bonus tip. So Robert Bushcraft tagged me in these five tips. So there are my five tips, just my opinion. Doesn't mean they're, you know, gospel or whatnot, but that's just what I recommend. So if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, definitely take a look at Robert's Bushcraft as well. I've been following him for a long time, actually way before kind of YouTube for me really took off. But go take a look at him. If you're interested in this kind of stuff with what I'm doing, definitely hit like, subscribe, consider Patreon, consider PayPal. All this money goes right back into the channel. It's greatly appreciated. Definitely take a look at Robert's Bushcraft. If you guys like this kind of stuff, hit that like, hit subscribe. Hope you all have a great day. All right. Now I can make some good time. I'm not talking to the camera.